Hello there, this is Robert with the Go Engineer Technical Support Department with another What's New in 2014 video. Today we're going to talk about spherical mates inside of SolidWorks assemblies. So this has been a common request that I've seen in the past. People want to take a spherical face, such as this one, and mate it to either a uh, like a circular edge or down to another spherical bowl shape, make them contact each other. And it used to be pretty hard to do. You'd need to do like a split line on the face and kind of kind of work around that. But now it's just right in there. We can make them tangent. And another nice user interface feature that we're going to use while we do this, I'm going to select this edge. I'm going to hold Control and I'm going to select on this edge. And now. If there's a possible mate, SolidWorks throws those mates up here in this heads-up display. And so we can choose those, which is pretty great. So we don't have to hit the mate button if you don't want to. So I hit um, concentric, makes it run really fast. So now we've got these two things lined up on each other. I'm just going to select this, this uh, spherical face and this edge. And I'm going to make them tangent to each other. And boom, there we go. Like I said before, I'm going to make that transparent so you can see. It used to be that you had to maybe do a split line on the face and then make them in contact with each other. Maybe you have to do a little bit of math to figure out where you're supposed to place it. Now, simple click of the button, make them together. Show another example here that I've got. I've got the same red spherical piece, and now I've got a, a circular bowl here. And I'm going to select the spherical face. And I'm actually going to bring this down a little bit lower. I'm going to select this face, hold down control, and select this other spherical face. And now I lost the heads up because I moved it, so I'm going to hit Mate, and I'm going to select Tangent, click OK, and I'm going to make this transparent as well, so that way we can see. Now the sphere, the, the, the mathematics of it continues the sphere up and around, and so it can make contact kind of through the air, but you can see that little discoloration right there, that's where it's making contact. We can drag this down into the bottom. And so now it's making contact, it's sliding around at the bottom. If I wanted to, I'm going to select this top face of the uh, cylinder and the top face of this. I'm going to select the parallel mate. That helps keep it flat a little bit. And you can see now I can kind of swoosh this around at the bottom of the bowl. If I wanted to, I can bring it up, and now it's floating up in the air. Make it a little bit more straightforward, bring it down, and select the cylindrical faces. If you want it to be centered, I can select concentric. And now you can see from a side view that it's touching the bottom of the bowl. So this is an excellent new feature, one that I'm very excited about. This has been Robert with Go Engineer Technical Support and What's New 2014 videos. Have a great day.